Our main mission is really to support uh, uh, our member states, North Africa countries, Middle East countries, in accelerating their energy transition. So we provide technical assistance to develop the right policies and strategies of renewable energy and energy efficiency and promote the investment of private sector in these areas. We did a lot of effort in the last decade in North Africa and in the MENA region in general. So we invested more than 18 billion US dollars in renewables in the last decade. More than this is expected in upcoming years in view of the, the goal of doubling or tripling sorry, renewable energy by 2030 and also in view of uh, very ambitious targets. If you look at Morocco, so we are targeting 52% of uh, renewables in the mix of energy by 2030. In Egypt, it was uh, 42% by 2025, but now they are updating it to uh, probably to go to 60% by 2030. In Algeria, 50% uh, 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 more or less on Tunisia the same. So there are ambitious targets in terms of increasing the, the contribution of renewables in the mix of energy. So it's clear there are very ambitious uh, plans. There are also reforms. There is a political will. There are reforms at the level of uh, policies and level of regulatory framework to make it more supportive to uh, 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 investment in renewable energy. There are also some financial schemes that really uh, 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 help it. For example, in Egypt, we started with the uh, feed-in tariff uh, some a couple of years ago. After, I mean, uh, like 12 years ago, there was a deficit of electricity in Egypt. After such reforms, so we have a surplus. So uh, of 20% in some years. So uh, it means that the, the reforms were successful. For example, solar 002 dollar per, uh, per kilowatt and the same pro more or less in wind energy. So in general, renewable energy is really advancing in the region. Obviously, we need more investment uh, really to achieve the goals, especially now we are talking also about the green hydrogen. So many MOUs and agreements were signed by Egypt uh, 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 with the international uh, 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 of takers and also between Morocco and others. In Morocco, for example, we target like um, starting producing 1 million ton of green ammonia by 2026 with a big investment of 13 billion US dollars. So this is all huge. Uh, in energy efficiency, maybe less. I think Tunisia is the best in the region in terms of uh, energy efficiency, how they uh, really work to, uh, to uptake energy efficiency measures in their policies. Uh, also, we, we need to, to, to also to focus or highlight the interconnections. So we need, obviously, to increase capacity of renewables, but at the same time, we need to invest in infrastructure to accommodate these renewables. So there are the interconnections between Tunisia and Italy and Algeria. I mean, uh, there's also the, the, the pipeline, the gas pipeline, so that could be a pot potentially used to export green hydrogen. So all these projects mean that uh, we, we, we are called to play an important role in the, de in the next decade in terms of uh, I mean, uh, energy trade and energy transition.